What's up? If it's cold outside where you are, I hope you got your layers on and stuff. So, you guys, I was going to tell you about the self-soothing box that you can have if you've lost someone very close to you. I have mine in this chest. And you have something in it for all of the senses. Sight. So you have, I have some pictures. And this is when my mom, my sister, and my nephew came to Atlanta. That's in front of Gladys Night Chicken and Waffles on Peachtree. That's in Pittsburgh in the Dome house, me and my mom. So this is a stack of pictures. That's visual. Then you have something for scent for the nose. This smells good. It can be a candle. It can be whatever you like. Then you have something for taste. And we like gum. I always have gum. So that's just something not for me to eat. Just, you know, if you want something that you can eat, you can. But that's just, just for symbolic. You have something for to listen to. <laughs> and amigo. Because he was trying to get my webby. That's nice. Why? I'm going to read y'all my insert thing. No, I'm just going to show it to you. I'll read it to you another day. And this is the tag that I got on my back right here. That's what that is. And the pyramid, elevated, constant elevation, elevated consciousness. All right, so I'll get into that. That's Nature 69. I only made 100. So, I know the people who got the ones that I numbered and signed, like artwork. I don't know if you can see that. Jew. So, that's CD number 34 out of 100. And here's my Whoopi. This I've had all my life. And so, my mom is so smart. You know what she did? After I was in college already, yes, I took this to college. Yes, I did. And I, she washed it. I was like, oh, my God. Ah! And so some of the stuffing had all separated. Oh, I was over there. See how this is? But it's still, you know, what's so, uh-oh, here he come. I knew he was going to do that. He was trying to get it. It's not a toy. It's not a toy. <laughs> He's so serious. Watch me. <laughs> <Me go. laughs> no. So <laughs> Miko never seen it before because it's always been put up. Okay, so that's in my self soothing box. <laughs> and there's some other things in there, but it's just like I'm gonna put this in here, the dome in there, so that'll be in there. <laughs> So those are fun memories, and you can smile and, you know, have fun memories and light the candle and spend the day with your loved one if you like. Have it. This guy, he's sitting by the chest. Now he doesn't seem where I put it. That's not for you. All right, that's it for that. I'll tell you what's the second I can light him. <laughs> oh. Now this one, I was going, you know, I'm going to do this one. Because I was going to do this one. But I'm going to do this one instead. And then I'll do this one tomorrow. Be thankful of hardship. Not that of others. 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 Be thankful of hardship, not that of others. When I went to a um, spiritual retreat and it was a, there was something about Dwau Sebek, and that's to be grateful for adversity because it does help you grow. Experience is the best teacher. Tragedy comes along with experience and any captain can hold the helm when the sea is calm. It's when that thing get rough. It's when you got to know what you're going to do. 
Special thanks to adversity for sharpening the strength of my character. So times do get rough and hard sometimes, but you know what? That's yours. That's yours and other people got theirs. So even if you see something that seemed like it might be all this and all that on the outside, guess what? Y'all know what's going on. They've got their own hardships to deal with. Everybody got their own stuff, their own vices, their own little things. So be thankful for yours, that you got yours and yours ain't as bad as some other people's, as I said, is out here. Some other people's is. is. <laughs> no, I'm serious. I'm for real, though. Be thankful for hardship, not that of others. Be thankful for hardship, not that of others. What y'all think that means? Have a good day. Peace.